All right. Hello again. I'm Brandon from Music GNV, and we are recording uh, an interview today with Sebastian Lopez. This interview is being done um, to support Night Before Media's upcoming event at the Thomas Center called Night at the Masquerade, and that is July 16th, 2022, and tickets are still available if you uh, watch this the day of its release. <laughs> I guess if you watch it next week, it'll already be over. But yeah. <laughs> um, in any case, uh, Sebastian will be performing one of the many artists that are performing. My first question for you today is uh, tell us a little bit about your music and your artistic journey that got you to where you are today. It kind of started, I kind of grew up with my family always being really involved in music to begin with, my dad, especially, and his brothers, so my uncles. Um, and they basically always would have like little mini concerts all the time in my house growing up. And then I never really took it serious, but I always had a love for music. So I was just like, oh yeah, I kind of just vibe with it for now. And then eventually it just kind of fast forward a couple of years. And when I was like 13 or 14, um, I had a, a full knee reconstruction because I was fully focused on soccer at the time. And that pretty much just shattered all my dreams that I had for sports or just anything involved in like the athletic just sense of things. Um, so I had a little keyboard that I had in my room that I just started playing and I don't know at first I kind of gave up after like a year and some change because I just I was like man this is not fun like I don't like looking at YouTube tutorials and all this and then eventually I just started doing stuff by ear and it started working out really well I was like oh this is kind of cool but it was still kind of for fun you know and then fast forward even more when I was 18 in my senior year um, I had been playing piano for some time in front of my Spanish teacher, Ms. Blake. And one day she just called out sick for the mass that we had for school. And he's like, I think Sebastian knows how to play enough. And he just threw me in there the same day. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. Um, and then that got me more into like, oh, stage presence and the ability to perform and like all these things. Eventually what happened is I ended up becoming director of my jazz band and my choir that same year in high school. And from there, um, just kept on doing it for fun, really. And then after some time, um, I took it serious about like a year and a half ago, two years ago, once COVID struck, because really everyone was stuck in their house at that point. And it was just a complete mess, to be honest with you. <laughs> and so <laughs> there was nothing else I could do. So I would just stay home the entire time, just making music, music, music. And then, yeah. I mean, I'd say in the past like seven or eight months, I've I've progressed a lot. I've started to perform a lot of shows and get out there a little bit more. So I'm really excited because now more than ever, I'm involved in the music community as a producer, engineer, as an artist, as a lot of different things here in Gainesville specifically. So yeah, I'm really happy about it. That's really cool. I I mean, you don't really hear very many positives that came out of the last couple of years, but it sounds like this one, this is one of those. Oh, yeah. um, that's that's really awesome. I mean, Music GNV itself came out of COVID. And, oh, that's you know, awesome. I had no idea. It, so That's really cool. Um, so how would you describe the music that you make? It's weird, man. <laughs> like, it's it's not weird, but it's, it's weird in my own way. Like, a good weird, you know? So the way I put it is that I'm very influenced by... A, a multitude of different artists so when i was growing up my parents would either play anything within like the salsa range to so like rock and roll like that was like the 80s 90s and peruvian because my parents are peruvian so that's like the peruvian vibe and um so growing up my favorite band was queen so i just listened to queen non-stop like all the time i would listen to a lot of pop bands you know the typical stuff when like the 2000s bands and all that so it's like a mixture of like the arrangement that like Freddie Mercury would kind of do with like Queen with like the stylistic choices of like a lot of pop but then with like the beat of like modern hip-hop like it's like I like doing a lot of weird stuff when I say like the stylistic choices of like Freddie Mercury and all that is mainly like the I don't know if you've listened to Queen a lot but they do a lot of like chorus and a lot of like harmony and this and that and like just switching up the keys and like doing it like a bunch of things like it's like a unique format of it you know so it's like mixing that pop and hip hop and using that e kind of equation that like Queen would use and like throwing it all in together and just making my own little twist to it, you know. 
it's like sing rapping i guess and they can be like singing sometimes and like kind of like singish rapping sometimes so it's like weird but it, it's cool i like it a lot <laughs> that sounds great um have, so you mentioned that you've done producing and that you've done a bunch of shows have you collaborated with anyone else in town and if so who yeah um i mean in town so i currently work under drew rich who's one of the main engineers around here so i'm his intern right now and then i have worked a lot with like the dion dia people with the uh, i'm actually currently working with one of the members of um swamp uh, swamp records for my uh, campaigning and a bunch of other things uh worked with sky i've worked with uh a bunch of people around here to be honest with you a lot of people that give oh danny b uh a lot of people have given a lot of other people a lot of artists around here opportunities i'd say and i'm super grateful for it and it feels like every single like day every single week it's like more and more people are coming along because it seems like the gainesville scene is starting to grow more than ever now and it's really cool to see it i'm, I'm really happy there's a lot of good people out there so it's awesome how long have you been in Gainesville? So I only say a year because the first year that I was here, it was COVID. So I was just stuck inside my apartment. So literally there was nothing to do here. So I knew nothing about Gainesville until about like not even eight months or nine months ago, basically. Um, so yeah, let's put it like a year. And I, I don't know how, but in that like year, it's like nine months kind of period that I've been here for like fully, fully like involved in the Gainesville scene. It's crazy how nice, how supportive, how like it, it's just amazing. Like I, I never thought it would be like that. I thought everyone always made like music sound like it was like the hardest journey and this isn't that. And yeah, it is a hard journey. Don't get me wrong. It's it's you gotta build a fan base, you gotta do a lot of stuff, but everyone is so supportive around here and so like connected to each other. So I love it. So it's, it's awesome. You nailed it. I mean, that's how I describe Gainesville's music connect to see from you there like you have a little sneak peek or a teaser of what someone could expect if they came to see you uh perform this upcoming saturday um i don't know so the way i put it like in terms of like a sneak peek or something one i don't even know how we're really supposed to dress for the event so i'm still trying to figure that out <laughs> it's a whole masquerade thing and i don't even know how to dress for that kind of stuff so we're gonna have to figure that out first but um, it's going to be some songs that if people here in Gainesville have already heard some of my music, um, uh, it's going to be some old stuff. It's going to be some a song actually that I wrote yesterday. It's going to be a couple different things. Definitely, I'm going to incorporate the grand piano that they have there. I'm going to incorporate the beats and a couple other things. So I'm practicing for it for sure. Um, I can't dance a lot, so please don't expect me to dance because <laughs> I'm pretty terrible at it. <laughs> but um. It'll definitely be a very big, like, bringing every, I, that's what I want to start doing with every show. And I feel like I'm going to use this one as like a startup for that is kind of bringing everyone into my world, like my little like collective world. So it can be like from just the natural instrumentation and live playing to like the artificial stuff and the production and engineering standpoint and things. So it's like trying to like show everyone what it is I do. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that, but that's my plan at least. Thank you. So my final question for you is, uh, if somebody was interested in hearing the music that you've made, yeah. where would you send them to listen to it? So usually I would say Spotify. If you just look up Sebastian Lopez is the quickest thing to do, or even on Apple Music or any, anywhere else. If anything, I usually send people to my Instagram. It's like the easiest way to find everything. So my Instagram is at Sebas Lopez Music that's it uh s-e-b-a-s-l-o-p-e-z music um and yeah i have like my link tree of all my links and my bio and everything too so it's everything a little organized there so that's cool <laughs> excellent thank you it was a pleasure talking with you and before i go i want to ask was there anything else that you'd like to share uh with the folks watching this interview um probably just some like I'd say some wise words, if anything, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm not really big on like speaking too much about my experience or anything, but just keep keep going because like even even like now, like I love it. It's I've, I've been granted more opportunities than ever now, but there's always so much to reach for and only so much you can do in so little time. So literally just give every second that you've got and just keep pushing for it. 
and if anyone ever wants to work i'm always super open to work too so like if that's another message too <laughs> so hopefully people can grab onto that